Have you ever wanted to multitask more efficiently on your Mac? Well, today I'm going to show you a game-changing tool that will revolutionize the way you work. Hey there, I'm Chris, and in this video I'll be sharing with you one of my favorite features on a Mac that has helped me become more productive and more efficient. If you thought split screen was just for watching videos or browsing multiple tabs in your web browser, think again. This feature has so much potential and in just a few simple steps, you'll be able to use it to its fullest capabilities. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, folks, I'm excited to walk you through how to use split view on your Mac because it's an amazing tool that helps me multitask. This isn't just about seeing more on your screen, it's about boosting your productivity and having two apps open side by side can really help with that. And without the hassle of constantly switching back and forth between tabs or windows or anything along those lines. So for me, there are two main forms of communication that I deal with daily. One is my messages and the second one is my emails. So now imagine having your messages app open on one side of your screen while reading through your emails on another. That's one of the setups I have with dual monitors and I love it. So let me show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on messages because I'm gonna focus on that app first. Now we all know the little green dot and if not, if you don't know this, the little green dot goes full screen. But if you can see, if I just hover over it, what it shows me is I can enter full screen or I can actually tile the window to the left or tile the window to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and choose left. I like having my messages on the left screen, but then look what happens to the rest of the windows that I had layered and opened up. It shows me all of them. And so now the beautiful thing is I can click on my email app, which is the Spark desktop. And when I click on that, it beautifully just puts both apps split screen for me to be able to use both at the same time. So that's very, very convenient for me because I will have this setup on one monitor while I will have a different setup that I'm actively working on on another monitor. So it allows me to multitask and keep eyes on my communication throughout the day while also being able to continuously work. Now there are a few cool things that you can do with it when you are in full screen like this. First and foremost, your menu bar. Your menu bar is at the top of your screen. And so you can see if I move my mouse up to the top of my monitor there, all of a sudden I can see my complete menu bar. Messages is currently my active application out of the two that we're seeing. And so that's why in the top left hand corner next to the Apple logo, I have all the options for messages. However, if I were to click on Spark, now you can see Spark Desktop now has taken over. Now your dock is another great thing that you could access. Now for me, my dock is over on the left-hand side of my screen. If you're not sure how to customize your dock, I do recommend you take a look at this video here. But we come over to the left side of my screen and there's my dock and my dock still will pop open even when using split view and having multiple things on my screen. But more importantly, one of the things that I like to do is I like to adjust the size of these two windows. I don't need my messages to be so big and so open. And so what I can do is I can actually grab this little black bar here in the middle and I can drag it left. I can even come to my messages window and grab this and drag this if I wanted to. And then when I move that left, they're just icons for all the different messages uh, and groups and chats that I have actively going. So this gives me more real estate for my email and be able to filter through my emails a little bit better because my messages don't need quite as much space to do that same amount of work. Now, sometimes you might already have an app in full screen. So I'm gonna jump over to pages here because I do believe I have that in full screen. And you wanna add something to it. Maybe you're copying and pasting from a website or maybe you're watching a video, a how-to video, and you're taking notes. And so if you wanted to add a split view to this screen that you're already in full view in, it's pretty easy to do. So first and foremost, you're gonna go and you're gonna find the window that you want to add. So I have this window here, and I'm gonna pretend that I'm taking notes on my video of how to get started with Pages. And I have the Pages app open in full screen. If I click the top of the toolbar of Chrome here, and I drag it to the top of my screen, you can see now I can actually drag that window to a different desktop or a different space. Now in this particular case, I have pages here in this one. So I'm just now gonna drag it there. It see it made room and just go ahead and let go. And now if I click on it, there we have it. That space is now just included 
the Google Chrome that I have here while also having my pages document over off to the side. And again, it's a little big. I don't need it quite that big because I want to see more of my pages as I'm taking notes so I can adjust the size and I can drag that over, give myself more real estate in my pages document. I could even adjust the zoom a little bit so I can fit it a little bit better. And there we go. Now I just added a different window into my full screen window. So let's say that you've gone ahead and you're like, I'm done here and I want to do something different. If we come back up, you can see if we hover over that green dot, I can actually replace this window if I wanted to or move it back to my desktop or make it full screen again. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and move it back to my desktop. And now I've just moved that pages document back to my desktop. That Google Chrome video that we were in split screen with is actually going to now be in full screen. So now it is currently in full screen after I pulled that pages document out from it. But there you have it, an easy way just to drag a window on top of another one in order to get into a split screen view with two different items. Now as a pro tip before we wrap this video up, if you're using multiple monitors very similar to how I am here, to make the most out of split view across multiple displays, you do need to ensure that displays have separate spaces. Option is turned on in your desktop and dock settings. So take a look at this picture here. This, you can see where you can find it and you just honestly switch that toggle switch on. So I hope these tips help you as much as they've helped me stay organized and efficient and allow me to have multiple things going at one time on my Mac. So that way I can use it for business and be as efficient as humanly possible. So now go ahead and give it a try. Your Mac multitasking is about to get a serious upgrade. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again soon.